Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm having an off day today so if anything goes wrong in this video I'm really sorry. I'm waiting for my computer to shut down because it sounds like an airplane is taking off for no absolute reason. Um, if you hear noise in the background um, per usual the house is you know all over the place. Uh -huh. So yeah but I really did want to um, go ahead and get this video filmed and up for you guys so I could have it done because I have a lot to do this month but this is going to be my July Ipsy like review and try on portion. If you guys want to see all the other stuff that I got in my Ipsy box you can head over to my Instagram which is linked down below and go to my IGTV and see all the stuff that I got in my July Ipsy box. Now I will have everything that I use today linked down below. I already have my eyebrows done. I use the Anastasia pomade and I have the Fenty Beauty eye primer on and they did send over this Tarte Quench hydrating primer which I do have on my face right now and I also went ahead and used the Wander Beauty eye patches that they sent over and they made my under eyes feel really really nice. This felt really really hydrating the Tarte Quench primer and I also used like a little lip thingy from pop beauty that i got um so yeah my skin should be all nice and you know smooth and glowy i got a little blemish right here let's go ahead and get started with the eyes they did send over this golden hour beauty for real mango butter eyeshadow palette i did show you guys what it looked like over on my igtv video when i first opened the box but if you didn't watch that this is what that looks like it is absolutely stunning you guys know i go for more like a dark and smoky eye looks now but we are going to try to create that with one of these i really really want to try the pink sand shade here with this maybe i don't know we're gonna do something so since i already have my eyes prepped and primed i'm gonna go ahead and do like a really quick like speed through of my eyeshadow look so you guys can see how this palette looks in action <music> too but that is completely okay um next we're gonna try out the cake pencil it's a little mini pencil from kvd vegan beauty i think is what their new name is i it's, it's a mouthful to say but i love how tiny this pencil is because most of the times the long eyeliner pencils do not fit in every um makeup bag like the little mini glam bags they give you sometimes my longer pencils have to fit in like they diagonally fit like this and then like it leaves a weird room so little mini pencils like this are awesome to carry around if you travel like a lot so let's try it out i've never tried out this one i did try out the trooper liner the liquid one before and i don't remember if i cared for it or not i have like a little mini one 
but let's see if this is really good because I love these type of eyeliners and how I usually put my eyeliner on is I put it in the middle and I close my eyes and then I just run it along because sometimes it'll like coat the top and bottom for me because like trying to get up under here sometimes makes my eyes really watery and it drives me nuts. My eyes always water when I do this. It is a pretty decent eyeliner. It gets the job done. So I actually really, really like this. Also for this palette, this eyeshadow palette that I just used, the shades blend out really, really nicely. The shimmery shades are more like toppery type shades. So if you get those and you're like expecting like in your face pigment, you're probably not going to get that. It's more of like a sheer coverage and they do apply better with your finger. I will say though that the fallout is definitely one that like sticks to your face because I have a lot of sparklies. I had to reapply some of this primer that they sent over from Tarte. So if you're looking for like more like topper shades or like cool inner corner shades that go in there, I think this look is really, really pretty. I put the pink on the inner corner with the gold and then like kind of like made it more like a like a warm smoky type so yeah i actually really really like this palette the formula of these eyeshadows are really really nice they're very very pigmented and very easy to blend um i really really like that this is a really good summer palette if you're looking for a really nice like simple neutral summer palette and you don't have one and you like to travel like beaches or anything else like if you're traveling to like a beach and you're like doing a date night this palette screams that because of the more glamour like look to it so yeah i really like it if you like warm palettes too this would definitely be good I'm not sure the prices of this stuff i never look at prices before hand i always only look at prices after when i put them in the description box so if you're wanting to know prices and more info about these products you will have to check my description so you can go to the web page yourself okay so i need to do my face they did send over these three face brushes look how cute they are and I talked about them in my um, IGTV video. They are MOTD Cosmetics. I assume is that makeup of is that makeup of the day or something like that. That's usually what people say. Is Supermodel Sculpt. Get cheeky with it. And Golden Gem, Golden Gem Bronzer. I love the handles of these brushes. They did come with those little guards on it, so I'm not really sure what hair um, they are made out of. So I will have. I almost knocked my mirror over i will have the these like linked in the description if i can find them they're super super soft like i would sleep on these if i could so i'm gonna go put on my face and then be right back so we can do sculpting um blush and bronzer i'll probably do liquid i do want to try these with liquid i'm in a liquid mood today since i am more like i look like summer so i kind of just want to look a little more summery so let me be right back okay so i have my base on i want to start out with like a more bronzy shade first so i'm taking my coastal scent eclipse palette um i don't know if this brush will work with a cream like bronzer but i'm going to dip it into one of these shades and try it out anyways i'm going to make sure i'm picking it up on the brush but not picking up too much mm. I think this might be more for powder because I don't see anything come off. So I'm going to use the Sculpt, the Supermodel Sculpt. And I'm just going to dip it into the bronzer shade. And I'm just going to kind of bronze in random places that I would bronze. I am not one for using much bronzer to begin with. So if it doesn't look like I have much on, it's probably because I don't. I usually try to drag it along the areas that I would tend to put contour and blush just because since I don't really care to be orange which is what most blushes I mean which most bronzers do to me I could care less if it gets covered up or not I and mean, I feel like I have a little bit of color I like this brush I like how it feels but I don't feel like I'm like super orange because I'm not digging into this palette at all I don't like bronzers all that much on my face and I only put bronzer on my like cheek areas anyways and then my forehead i don't put it anywhere else okay so i'm gonna take a darker shade i tried to like mix the two i said i didn't like to be orange and now it's like giving me like an orange vibe with the contour great so i don't really use very many cream contours anymore because they always draw orange on me no matter what i do or what i use 
if you guys have any recommendations for like um for more cool toned like contour shades please let me know that are cream nose oh boy that was too much on the side of my nose i'm not good at contouring my nose so i'm not really worried about it i gotta go back through and blend it out all right so for blush i'm going to be using the get cheeky with it brush and i am going to be mixing pixie on the glow blushes it's going to be shade juicy and shade floor i haven't used this pink one yet because i've been using the crap out of the red one so i'm going to just apply that like this i always apply it to the top parts of my cheekbone and then blend up but i'm going to be mixing the two i like heavy blush i'm applying it with a heavy hand you can apply way less than me if needed i'm just a blush fiend i don't know what it is if i don't have a lot on my face then i don't feel like i'm living it's probably gonna make like a cool peachy color i hope it's like it's making like a rosy pink my hair is getting caught to it because it's flying everywhere i hate flyaway hairs i love these blushes if you guys have not checked out these pixie on the glow blushes i don't know what you're doing with your line because they are amazing easy to blend out too and i will always drag my blush on my t oh wait i'm using the wrong brush oops okay I was about to use my beauty blender because that's what I'm used to. I'm just going to start blending it in. It's leaving like a really nice um, like light pink shade. So I might have to add more orange. Just to make it like built up the way I want it. But let's try this side with the brush since I accidentally went in with my beauty blender on the other side at first. Okay, yeah, the brush is leaving much more pigment. I accidentally went in with my beauty blender and blended it a little on this side so you can kind of see the difference that the brush is making. This brush probably isn't meant for cream products, but you know, I don't care about what things are supposed to be used for. And these brushes are not making my skin look dry at all. They're making my skin look really nice. I'm gonna add a little bit more orange over here just to kind of even my face out and mind you i have not used any powder on my face yet so everything's like dewy and summery and cute but yeah that is the these brushes are really nice i just this one is definitely more for powder since like it's really really fluffy these do work really well with cream though and that is what my face looks like using these brushes I am going to go do the rest of my face off of camera and then we will come back for all the lashes and under eye and stuff like that. Okay, so I curled my lashes and they sent over this IT Lash Blowout Mascara. It's a little mini one. I really like the gray of this packaging. I don't know why. They're little minis. I love little mini mascaras. Um, So let's try it out. I don't know how it will... Compared to the last one we got, which was the tart tardiest, I think. Which I really, really liked for that one. This one seems to be making my lashes look really long. Um, I think this would be a really good mascara so far. Looking at my lashes to wear without falsies on. I'm still going to put falsies on. Um, because I like putting falsies on when I have winged liner on. But if you don't, this is a really, it seems to be like a really good mascara to um, wear because like my lashes look like they got super, super long. It's like really getting in between them. I don't know what kind of wand this is. It looks just like, it looks just like a basic wand, but it's really easy. I'm not poking myself in the eye. Um, knock on wood that I don't jinx it. Okay, and it doesn't feel heavy on my lashes either, which I really, really like about that. So for my under eye, I'm just going to sweep um, that Horizon shade, the really light shade we got under my eye with these brushes that I got in my last Ipsy. I just want like a quick sweep of color. I think this brush still has some yellow on it, um, which is fine. And then taking a little bit of that deeper one. I'm going right over that, but with the lightest hand imaginable because I don't want like a super smoked out lower lash line. I'm going to kind of drag it like up onto the wing. 
And there's the under eye. I don't want like a super dramatic under eye. I just wanted eight under eye. Cause it looked kind of bare. Alrighty, lashes are on. I feel like my um my camera is like making me like really light and then going back to color. I haven't adjusted much on this camera because of um me changing my backdrop. Okay, I'm gonna reapply with my watery eyelids. And I'm just gonna apply this um mascara to my bottom lashes. I did want to put an inner corner. I know I'm all over the place right now, guys. I'm really sorry. I did want to put like an inner corner highlight and i did use this um reflection shade like on top of my highlight and this is my nose highlight and stuff so i kind of want to just use it um on the inner corner of my eye since it's stunning yeah that's gorgeous i feel like i haven't used inner corner shades all that much recently i don't know why i feel like i'm like really like summery right now so i feel like really good um and then last but not least i'm sorry if this video is really long um, there's more to try out here. Um, Fenty Beauty. They sent me over a Fenty Beauty lipstick. It's a Stunna Lip Paint in shade Unlocked. So it's a pink shade. And it looks like this. So, I mean, I'm going to have like a really, really bright pink lip with this eye look. So that's why I went for pink in the inner corner. I feel like my lips are crusty right now and it's aggravating me. <laughs> um, but it's all right. Okay, so this is my lips lined with brandy wine. This is a really, really bright color for this um, lip liner, but I still feel like I needed one. So I wish I had a pink to match it, but I don't. Okay, so I covered up the lip liner. So, but this is the color. It's like that is the ooh, it's so pretty i love fenty lipsticks like ever since rihanna came out with fenty and she came out with stun and lip paint i have been obsessed ever since so i'm gonna go like put my hair down and stuff and i'll be right back so we can talk about everything that i tried on in this video Alrighty, and here is the finished look i feel like a summer barbie very cute i am really 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 excited about this box still even though i've tried everything everything in this box was absolutely amazing if you guys want to see all the other amazing things they sent over to me you can head over to my instagram like i said in the beginning of the video and go to my igtv and see the other items that they sent to me i try to keep it on two separate platforms just because like i want to mix it up a little bit and not keep all my content on one platform so again the um Tarte primer my skin looks really really nice it did a really really good job the wonder beauty patches my under eyes are not dry so i'm really really excited about that so between like with these patches and that um tarte primer they work really really well together i didn't have any chemical burns or anything like that so it's really good i want to tell you guys that i did try out the juice beauty moisturizer that they did send over to me um this it's really thick but it has spf in it so that's probably why but it does feel really really nice on the skin even though it is thick but i will keep trying and let you guys know i didn't wear it out in the sun yet but i will try it out in the sun this weekend so i can see how it works you know with the spf in it the mascara that i tried out the it lash blowout makes my lashes look really really long usually i'm not one for it cosmetics and i haven't really tried too many of their products i have tried their other mascaras before and didn't really care for them but this one I actually do care for, shockingly. The MOTD brushes are actually really, really nice, even though I couldn't use this one because I feel like it's more for powder. But these two brushes did really, really well. They are like, they do have a little bit of stray hairs like sticking off of them, but I don't really care about that. That doesn't affect the way they apply anything in general. This one will probably be my favorite, the Supermodel Sculpt one, because I love like brushes that are really dense like this that allow me to sculpt when I need to. The eyeshadow palette, absolutely stunning. I really, really like how like I can still create the eyeshadow looks that I like, but it also has the versatility for someone who likes lighter makeup shades and who really loves shimmery eyeshadow looks as well to do it as well. It's a really, really good summer palette. The Kat Von D um, eyeliner is really, really good as well. It goes on really easily. I didn't have any problem applying it. And I still love that it's really, really travel size. And last but not least, the Fenty Beauty. I absolutely love this lipstick. If you guys cannot tell that I'm going to live in this lipstick, like I've lived in the red one. I also have the black one as well. And I kind of want to make the two like black and pink and make like more of like an ombre lip so thank you so much ipsy i was really really excited to see this in my box this month because anytime anybody gives me anything fenty beauty i am so excited i really really love this brand you guys this is one of my top favorite brands in makeup 
So yeah, thank you all so much to Ipsy for sending me this box over to try out on YouTube with you guys. I'm really sorry if this video is really, really long this time. I just wanted to do like a more thorough um, try on for you guys. And thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please do not forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications so you guys do not miss when I upload another video. Also, don't forget to check out my other videos, my other Ipsy videos, because those are really cool too. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. Pictures of this look will be up on Instagram at some point. And yeah, I hope to see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.